pong was made over the course of multiple months. I'll show you how to make it in Unity in just 10 minutes. Go to unity.com, click download, download for Windows, open Unity Hub, go to installs, install editor, install the latest version, continue, wait for it to download, projects, new project, name it pong, make sure it's 2D, create project. This is your scene where you build your game world. This is your hierarchy where you can see a list of all the things inside of your game world. This is your inspector where you can see things that you have selected in the hierarchy and change their properties. This is your game view where you can play your game once you hit play. And finally, this is your project where you can put all of the assets that your game will use, such as images, music, 3D models, code, etc. Now if you go to your game view, you can see that the background of the game when you play it is blue. So click on your camera in the hierarchy and go to the camera component in the inspector and change the background to black. Then hover over your hierarchy with the mouse, right click, create 2D object, sprites, square. You can rename this to ball by pressing F2 or by changing it in the inspector. Now go to the transform component, go to scale, and let's decrease its size to 0.25 on the X and 0.25 on the Y, like so. Now select your ball in the hierarchy and press Control or Command D to duplicate it. Rename the first one to Paddle by pressing F2 and rename the second one to Paddle 2 by pressing F2 or Enter on Mac. Now with the first Paddle selected in the hierarchy, go to the inspector and change the X position to negative 9.59 and the Y scale to 2. Move the other paddle to the right and change its Y scale to something like 2 as well. And now we have the basic Pong setup in less than one minute. Select the ball and both paddles using the shift key in the inspector and let's add a box collider 2D which will give all of these objects physics and add collisions to all of the objects so that they don't go through each other. Now on the ball, add a rigid body 2D component, and this gives the ball physics so it can be affected by gravity or forces. Now, if you play this, you'll be able to see that the ball is affected by gravity and it just falls through the floor. Unclick play. With the ball selected, go to the rigid body and decrease gravity scale to zero. Now let's make it randomly launch in one direction when the game starts. On your ball, click Add Component, go to New Script, and for the name of the script, let's call it Ball. Double click on the script to open it in your code editor. I'm using JetBrains Writer, but you can use Visual Studio as well. The start method is called when the game starts, and the update method is called every single frame of your game. Since the rigid body 2D component is used for physics, we want to apply a velocity, or speed, with direction, to this ball when the game starts. So first, at the top, let's get a public rigid body 2D, and we'll call this RB for rigid body, and save this and drag the rigid body 2D component into this reference, and now our ball has a reference to its own rigid body. Now we want to be able to set the velocity of our rigid body. Now this velocity will have two components, an X and a Y component. We want the X component to be either fully left towards this player or fully right towards this player. And we want the Y component to be completely random, so it can be a bit up, super up, super down, or a bit down. And that way we can go in any of these directions. So let's add that. In the start method, let's make a boolean, which is either true or false, called is right, and this will be equal to unity engine the random the value, which gives us a value between zero and one, is greater than or equal to zero point five. Next, we'll make a new float, which is a floating point or a decimal, called x velocity, and this will be equal to negative one f which you have to add at the end of floating points, but if is right is equal to true, x velocity will be equal to 1 f. Now we also want a random y velocity, so we'll set float y velocity is equal to unity engine dot random dot range between negative 1 and comma 1. Then we'll change our rigid body velocity to the x velocity and the y velocity. To do this, we'll do rb the velocity equals new vector2, so a new 2D vector, 
x velocity, comma, y velocity, and add a semicolon. Save this and press play. To increase the starting speed of the ball, we can make a public float starting speed. And when we set the velocity, we multiply x velocity by starting speed and y velocity times starting speed. And if you go to your ball, scroll down, go to your ball component, you can change the starting speed to something like 5. To make the ball bouncy, go to the rigid body, and we can change its physics material. Now to make a bouncy ball, we need a bouncy physics material. And for that, go to your project window, right click, create, 2D, physics material 2D, call it bouncy, and set its bounciness to 1 and friction to 0. Go to your ball and drag the bouncy physics material to the rigid body and to the box collider. So we have the random serving of the ping pong ball. Now let's add the game part of video game. So select the first paddle in the hierarchy, click add component, scroll down to the very bottom and click new script. And we'll call this script P1, which is short for player one. Double click it to open in your code editor. And in this update method, which is called every frame, so if your game is running at 60 FPS, this will be called 60 times per second. And in here, we will type bool and we'll call it is pressing up. And we'll set this to be equal to input dot get key, open bracket and close bracket key code dot w. Make a second bool called is pressing down equals to input dot get key key code dot s if is pressing up, we'll do transform, which gets this transform component attached to the script, dot translate, which moves it, vector to dot up times time dot delta time. This is a bit complicated, but multiplying it by this, make sure that since update is called every frame, we don't move any faster by having more or less frames. Next, copy this and change is pressing up to is pressing down. And instead of translating up, we're gonna translate down, save this, and we can now move. Now we move too slow, so let's add a public float move speed. And we'll multiply both of these by move speed, save this, and change the move speed to five. Now let's go to paddle two, add components, new scripts, call it P2. Go to P1, copy all this code, and paste it in here, making sure to replace all the old methods. We'll change the up key for P2 to be equal to up arrow, and the down key for P2 to be equal to down arrow, and save this. Set its move speed to be equal to 5. Now let's add a bouncing border on the top and bottom of the screen. Right click, create a new 2D sprites square. Click on this tool to enter the transform tool or use these parameters right here. Hold this box to drag it and increase the X scale. Press F2 to rename it to bottom border. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it, move it up. And we can press F2 to rename this top border. Give both of them a box collider 2D and press save, select both of them, go to the sprite components and change the color to a gray. And now we have a full game with both player controls. We have serving, we have player movements. And if this is your very first Unity game, this is pretty damn impressive. We just recreated the most iconic video game of all time. Now, if you're interested in making a multiplayer FPS game, check out the playlist on my channel. Now, if you want to keep learning Unity and make some more 2D games, check out this dino game tutorial I made on my channel, where we'll make another very iconic game, the dino game from Google Chrome. See you in the next one.